Hi, this is Adam from Bridgewater Honda, here to introduce the all-new 2021 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. Some of the updates they've made to the truck this year is, on the front end, they've updated your fog lights, your headlights, but the biggest change is to this front end grill area. What they've done is make it look more tough, more rugged, more outdoorsy, to give you that aggressive look. Along the side, they put a nice beefy tire on it this year. So by adding a little bit more toughness to the tire, a little bit more tread, you're able to take it to a few more places that maybe before you weren't able to. When we walk around to the back here, they've added twin exhaust tips, chrome finishers, just to make it look that little bit more high end. Also, all ridge lines come equipped with the tow hitch package. So that allows you to tow up to 5,000 pounds. The big party trick for the Ridgeline, which they were the first to do it, is the dual action tailgate. It opens the traditional way, but also swings open this way, allowing you easier access to the bed to grab stuff. Also in the Ridgeline, you have the in-bed trunk. There's tons of storage space in here, guys. You can put all sorts of stuff in it. There's a drain plug in it as well, so if you fill it with ice, put some drinks in there, you're able to drain out that water. Also the bed in the black edition, you have exciters on the bed. So you can play music through the bed. So if you're outside mowing the lawn, washing the truck, you can have music all the time playing. We do also have a power outlet. So you can charge the batteries for your power tools. You can plug in all sorts of stuff in order to give it the power. Let's jump to the inside. In the back area, there's tons of room. We have heated rear seats. Uh, the other cool trick I really enjoy is your seats do fold up. You have area underneath the seat to put things. You can fit a set of golf clubs under there so you don't have to put them in the bed if you don't want and you can make sure they're nice and safe. Power driver seat, power passenger seat as well. Uh, there's all sorts of other features that we'll go over while we're driving. So why don't we take it for a drive? Oh. All right, now that we're here, let's go for a little drive and explore the interior of the car. All right, so in the new 2021 Ridgeline, you're going to see a lot of things that are similar to the old model but updated a little bit so we still have our nice big touchscreen audio system now in the black edition we do have navigation uh, we do also which i can show you here uh, it is a garmin system so it makes it nice and simple to use if you've ever used one in another vehicle or have a handheld version pretty much functions the exact same way you have a nice easy home button to be able to jump around with um, in this vehicle you do have Sirius satellite radio you have USB ports down here in, in your center console area to plug things in as well. So you can plug in your iPhone, uh, Apple Android, uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are all in here as well. So you can plug your phone in, use uh, Spotify, all sorts of different stuff to play your music on. The other neat thing too is again, where we had talked about the in-bed speaker, this is where you would use it. So you just hit a button, press on, and any music that you'd have playing through here would again start playing through the back. You have tri-zone uh, for your climate control. So all three people can have different temperatures. So me as the driver, the passenger, and anyone in the rear can have a different temperature setting for what they'd like. You can use the automatic climate control for that as well. Uh, so that'll make sure that it keeps the temperature whatever you're set at. Right now I'm using it, it's set at 21 degrees. So it's gonna keep the cabin at 21, um, whether it has to blow hot air, cold air from up high or down low. You do also have heated and cooled seats in the front for the driver and the passenger. Uh, nice feature for a day like today when it's 20, 15 degrees outside, turn the cooled seat on and uh, it starts to blow some cold air onto the seat, cool it down for you. Also on it, we do have Honda's Select Terrain Management. Um, so there's a button down here, don't know if you can see it or not, but you give it a press. Um, there's four different settings. So you have normal for everyday driving. You have snow mode, 
sand mode and mud mode. So what those modes do is everything's a little bit different, um, but it allows you to be able to control uh, how the throttle responses, how the traction control responses, how the all wheel drive system will work, just in case of different scenarios of how you're driving, the truck's gonna react the way you need it to react and with the power where it needs to. Um, so you don't have to be locking anything into four wheel drive or anything like that. The all wheel drive system will do it for you. Um, along with that, you do have a, down here, uh, wireless phone charger. Uh, so you can sit your phone on there if it's equipped with it, turn the power pad on, no cables, nothing like that. And away you go and your phone starts to charge for you. On the steering wheel, we have a nice heated leather steering wheel. Um, so there's buttons down here to heat and turn that on. Uh, so for those cold days. The cool thing about the heated steering wheel too is when you use the remote start, which comes uh, standard on the Ridge Line, it will turn the heated steering wheel on, it'll turn the heated seat on, turn the air conditioning on, um, and heat the car up to whatever temperature you need it. You can also use it in the summertime, uh, and what it will do is actually turn the AC on for you so it'll cool the car down um, so you don't have to worry about getting into that hot car. On the steering wheel, we do also have the audio controls so you can use your volume up and down, you can flip through your different songs, um, you have your cruise control settings on here. Now, this vehicle is equipped with the full Honda Safety Suite, um, so what that entails is um, lane keep assist. So there's a button right here that you can press and it will turn your lane keep assist on. Uh, it uses a radar and a camera system where it actually sees the white line and the yellow line and what it will do is steer the vehicle and keep it in between those lines um, also you do have uh, adaptive cruise control um, so what that will do is if you set your cruise control to 100 kilometers uh, and someone in front of you has decided to slow down to 90 your vehicle will actually keep you one car length to three car lengths back uh, and you won't have to touch the brake or touch the gas or anything like that. The car will do it automatically. When that car speeds back up to 100, your vehicle will also speed back up to 100. Um, we also do have forward brake mitigation on this vehicle. So if something were to jump out or someone was to pile the brakes on in front of you, maybe you weren't paying attention for some reason, the vehicle will start to apply the brakes for you. Uh, there will be other alerts that will pop up as well. You'll get some buzzers, some beeping, just to let you know that something's going on, you need to uh, come to a stop. On the vehicle, we also have auto headlights. Um, so there's the auto mode for when they turn on, but it does have an auto high beam, low beam as well. Um, so there's no need to fuss with that. They'll just automatically pick up when a vehicle's coming toward you, the headlights, and it will turn the lights on and turn the lights off for you. Also equipped with a few other safety features such as um, rear parking sensors so when you are backing up you do have your rear view camera that will show up in the display uh, but there is also an audible sensor system that will beep at you to let you know as you're getting closer and closer to an object um, so that you don't hit it um, there is also uh, is down here for buttons? Uh, your traction control button so you can turn that on and off and you do have lane departure warning as well. So what the lane departure warning will do is if you start to go over the lines, um, it will make an audible beep at you just to let you know that it is uh, time to look at what you're doing. The ridge line is equipped um, with a V6 engine has tons of get up and go as you saw they're getting onto the highway. Um, it will do everything it needs you to do, but the nice part of having a V6 engine is also you do get good fuel economy. So these vehicles are rated at uh, 10.5 liters per 100 combined, um, which is a great for a full size vehicle that it is and having the all wheel drive system in it. Some other neat things that just the black edition have too, on top of the other bridge lines is some of the interior stitching. So you do have a black leather seat, but there is a red bolstering underneath of it that gives it a red hue to it, which is really kind of a standalone piece in it. Um, you do have red stitching on the steering wheel, um, just some red accents to kind of pop off of black to make it look a little bit different. Um, but then the exterior, as we saw in the walk around, there's black wheels, just a really good aggressive looking truck. We're just pulling in 
to the dealership after the drive. I'm going to show you how it, how the backup camera works, and we're just going to back into this spot right here. Backup camera automatically will kick on. You do have three different views that you can use. This does also have the cross uh, traffic alert. So what would happen is if another vehicle or someone was walking behind you there, it would give you a little audible noise to let you know that there's something coming from the left or the right just so you don't back out into that traffic. And that concludes our test drive of the 2021 uh, Honda Ridgeline Black Edition.